This is Brian Carlton for ABN Newswire. Galaxy Resources, ASX code GXY, is an emerging industrial minerals company focusing on lithium production. Joining me is Iggy Tan, the managing director. Hi, Iggy. Morning. Um, this is an obviously uh, in high demand product, lithium batteries for cars, for laptops, for mobile phones. What do you see the demand doing over the next few years? Well, because of the growth of, in, of the industry, particularly with uh, electric cars, uh, the industry expects a growth uh, threefold by 2020. So the uh, current demand for lithium carbonate is about 100,000 tonnes per annum, and we expect that to be about 300,000 in 2020. So big, uh, big growth uh, expected, and we expect an increase pressure on prices. You've just completed the uh, DFS on your Mount Catlam uh, project. How did that go? Well, well, the uh, DFS shows that the, uh, we can get the uh, mine and the concentrator up and running for a capital cost of $68 million. And our plan is to ship that concentrate to China, to a lithium carbonate plant that we would own in China. And the uh, total investment for the whole project is about $130 million, And we expect a, a payback of two years. So very uh, strong payback, a very robust project. And we intend to be a, a major player in lithium uh, in the world. So. With the operation in China, we'll be the largest producer in China and the lowest cost producer. So we will, uh, we will be a strategic uh, supply of lithium carbonate uh, to Asia. And obviously keep your costs down, being uh, based very close to Esperance, deep water port in southern Western Australia. Well, the beauty of uh, uh, value adding um, in China is that we have access to all the utilities we need. So uh, raw materials like sulfuric acid, uh, caustic soda, soda ash, they're all within this free trade zone. So our production costs will be the lowest in China and uh, we'll certainly be the largest producer in China. You're, uh, you're looking at commencing production third quarter 2010, is that on track? Uh, yes, it's on track and we recently signed up with the uh, Zheng Zhejiang uh, Administrative Committee for the, uh, the land uh, and they have reserved the land for us and uh, we're well in the process of uh, sorting out our finance for the project. Um, so the other important part is the uh, offtake agreements. Uh, we have letters of intent for all of our production and uh, at the moment we are now looking at uh, trying to sell a minority interest in the project uh, as a way to fund, uh, fund the pro uh, development of this project uh, with minimal dilution uh, for Galaxy. So you're looking to raise capital now obviously? Yes, uh, we're, we're looking to raise capital but uh, but really by selling a direct uh, interest in the project and then using that, uh, that funds as, a, uh, as, as our equity component for the, for the project. So our plan is to have uh, minimal dilution from now on and still maintain control of the uh, company and the project. So how steep is the growth curve for lithium? Well, um, it all depends on the uptake uh, for electric cars. And the industry uh, knows that it's going to be a significant growth, but how much it is, it's going to be a big, uh, big issue. Uh, but the most important thing is there's not many lithium projects coming on stream. We're the most uh, w well advanced, uh, and so we believe uh, this, this growth will uh, create a, a lot of pressure on, on, on prices. So just about every major car manufacturer has announced they're making hybrid or, or, or fully electric cars. Yeah. Obviously that'll be a massive growth area for you and, and all the various mobile devices as well, laptop computers, mobile yeah. phones. Yep, now obviously uh, electric cars have been in the news and that's a, a popular topic, but a, a sleeping giant is really about uh, mass energy storage for solar plants and wind farms. Because the reason renewable energy uh, can't compete with industrial uh, energy today is because there's no way of storing it. So when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow, they can't put that back in the grid. Now with, with mass energy storage like lithium ion batteries, you can store that energy and put it back in the grid when you want to. So uh, this is really the big area of growth that, uh, that is, is happening right now. And what sort of cash flows do you expect over the next two years? Well, in the project, uh, it's, it's likely to deliver something like 85 million net cash per annum for the life of mine. Uh, and we've used very conserv conservative pricing for lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate last year was about 6,500 to 7,000 US a tonne. In our financial modelling, we've only used a very conservative 6,000 US a tonne. So uh, lots of upsides. Yeah. What's the life of the mine? Uh, we've got a 15-year mine life. 
and uh, we're just about to commence uh, another extension drilling program that we, we're pretty confident that we'll uh, extend that beyond 15 years. Uh, and uh, we will commence that straight away. So things are looking up? Yep, it looks good. Fantastic. Yuki yep. Tan, Managing Director of uh, Galaxy Resources. Appreciate your time. Thank yep. you. Thank you. This is Brian Carlton for ABN Newswire.